Okay, now that we've got the flange bearing drawn, I'm going to show you how to make this into a section view. It's pretty simple, but I just want to cover the basics with you. So what we need to do right now is when you have a section view, I'm going to go ahead and hatch this area in, but all of my hidden lines become visible lines, and I do need to trim out areas that I don't need. So I'm going to go into the Trim command, press Enter, and I'm going to actually trim these guys back. If we were to cut this in half, we wouldn't see that outer part. I'm also going to select all of these lines and make them visible. Just select everything all at once, pull this down and put them on the visible layer. Now I can pull this down and set my hatch layer current. If you don't have a hatch layer, that's something you might want to create. And I'm going to go into the hatch command. And we always leave it at the default ANSI 31. I'll click in these areas here press enter. So I've got that view taken care of. Now what I need to do is actually do a cutting plane line. So I'll come in here, set my cutting plane layer current. I'm going to do the line command and I'll just bring this all the way across. For now I'm just going to stop it right here. If I turn on my line weight you can see that's a much bolder line than the center lines that I had going through there. Now what I need to do is actually extend these guys out a little bit. I am going to use the lengthen command for that. Again, I'll do DE for delta. And let's maybe, let's do it at like a 0.5. Oops. DE for delta, 0.5. And just click on this and I'll, it'll extend it out this direction. And then click over here, it'll extend it out that direction. And now we need to decide, we're going to draw the arrows, we need to decide which side the arrows are going to point to. Are they going to point up or are they going to point down? And when you're thinking about that, think to yourself, when I do cut this object in half, which side am I actually viewing up here? So the arrows are going to point to the side that this view is actually depicting. So um, it'll actually be depicting this bottom half down here, so my arrows are going to point down. I'm going to start the polyline command. I think that's the easiest way to draw arrows. And with that command, I'll just go ahead and start here. I'll come down. We can just define any distance here. Maybe I'll type in a 0.5. And now I'm going to do W for width. And we'll define a starting width and an ending width. So let's do a starting width of maybe like a 0.25. You can play around with this and see what works. An ending width of 0. Turn on my ortho here, and now as long as you want to make that line is fine. I'm going to go ahead and make it a 0.5. So I've got that little arrowhead. Now that I've got it over there, I may as well just copy it. You could also mirror. That way they're the exact same size. So I've just made this into a section view. I've gone in, changed my hidden lines to be visible, I've put in a hatch, and I've added my arrows with my cutting plane line. And that's it.